Elementary 1032 Instructional Videos. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through Chapter 9, Acids, Bases, and Buffers in the Body. First of all, let's define an acid. There's a couple of definitions out there. We're going to learn two of them. Uh, there's actually a third one that's not uh, relevant to this class. First definition, Arrhenius. Arrhenius said that an acid is anything that makes H plus ions in solution. Okay? Anything that makes H plus ions in solution. So let's look at an H plus ion. Well, H is hydrogen, right? And H has one electron. H has one electron. If it loses that one electron, what's left? A proton. So H plus ion equals a proton. <laughs> Oops, I got my face in the way there. An H plus ion equals a proton, and that's how it works. So Arrhenius said that an acid is anything that generates a proton in water. Okay, that's fair enough. Nothing wrong with that. But now, along come Bronsted and Lowry, and they said, no, 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 no. Let's not think of an acid in this way. They said, let's think of an acid as anything that will donate a proton or donate an H+. Plus. Remember, H plus is a proton. Okay, So that's what Bronsted and Lowry said. So we have two definitions of an acid, basically both saying the same thing, but interpreting the, the, the idea in a different way. Arrhenius says, generates H plus in water. Bronsted Lowry said, no, 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 no. It just donates a proton somehow. Okay, different little, there's some fundamental differences here, but you don't really have to worry about them too much. Just know both definitions. Now, proton is a subatomic particle, H and H plus is an ion. Okay, hydrogen atoms contain one proton, one electron. If that hydrogen atom were to lose its electron, and then the protons are one and the same. So basically, H plus and a proton are the same thing. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. When you have an acid reacting in water, you get H3O+. Plus. This is known as hydronium. Okay? So that's really all you need to know from this slide. You, there's a lot of busy work here, but really all you need to know, hydronium, H3O+. Plus. When an acid reacts with water, you form hydronium. When an acid reacts with water, you form hydronium. Let me put my face back where it belongs. Oops. There we go. Okay? When an acid reacts with water, you get hydronium, H3O+. Plus. Very important thing to remember, hydronium. There's the spelling. Hydronium. Bases. Now, according to Arrhenius, he said a base is anything that generates OH- minus in water. That's a base. Now, there are numerous bases, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. Notice, they all have hydroxide with them. Now, bases are bitter and slippery. Bases are bitter and slippery. Now, the converse for acids, acids are sticky and sour. Okay, so write that stuff down, guys. Bases are slippery and bitter to taste. Acids are sticky and sour to taste. Okay? Think about that for just a second. Um, bleach. You've all gotten bleach on your hands before, I'm sure. And you've noticed that it's really slick because bleach is basic. Uh, you probably also notice it takes a long time to wash bleach off, so you've got to be really careful with stuff like that. Now, I'm sure everyone's gotten some kind of juice on their hands. Yes, the sugar makes it sticky, but so does the acid. The acid in the juice also makes it sticky. So these are all uh, characteristics of acids and bases and kind of like what they're like. Okay? Now, Bronsted and Lowry said a base is a proton acceptor. So Bronsted and Lowry are speaking about bases and acids in terms of their ability to donate or receive a proton. Okay? So an acid will donate a proton to a base. The base will receive it. Okay? 
It's like when you're trying to, say, pass your car keys to someone. The keys are your proton. When you pass your car keys to someone else, you are the asset donating the keys to the base who is going to receive the key. Okay? Assets donate, bases receive protons. And that's how it works. And here we have a few acid-base reactions. So this is an acid. How do I know? Well, here's chlorine. The green ball is chlorine. And there's a hydrogen right there. So there's a hydrogen and a chlorine bonded together. One of my products is hydronium. That tells me there's an acid there somewhere because there's hydronium here. And look at the green ball, the chlorine. It's now chloride without a hydrogen. So going from left to right through this, uh, through this uh, equation, this entity lost a hydrogen, a proton. Where did it go? It went to the water. It went to form hydronium. Because here, water only has two hydrogens, right? And over here, it has three. It formed hydronium. So this donated the hydrogen. So it's an acid. This received the hydrogen, so it must be the base. Okay, remember, basically you're looking at hydrogen. Look at the one on the left. The green ball has one hydrogen, and on the right, the green ball doesn't have any hydrogen. So it must have donated that hydrogen, or the proton, to someone. It donated it, got rid of it. The water on the left-hand side has two hydrogens. On the right-hand side, three hydrogens and a plus charge. So it accepted a proton. Are you with me? So the base is the water. Now let's come down here. Here we have NH3 and here we have NH4. So going from left to right through the equation, NH3 became NH4. It received a proton. NH3 became NH4, it received a proton. Proton receivers are bases. Proton receivers are bases. Water, it's H2O on the left, but now look, look right here. It's OH minus on the right. Water is a proton donor. It's an acid. Okay, in this situation, water is the acid. Now, that's interesting. Water can be either a base or an acid, depending on how you treat it, depending on what you add to it. If you add certain things, you get bases. You add other things, you get acids. It's just how it works. So water can do both, depending on how it's treated. Now, you tell me that's not interesting. That's pretty cool. All right, and that's the end of, that's the end of 9 1. So we'll come back um, and do 9 2 in a different video. All right, guys. So now I want to wish you, of course, good luck and good chemistry.